Hello, this is Marion Laney again from uh, Dolphin Island. Um, some of you have asked for updates on my original uh, trajectory video. Uh, this is, uh, once again, from the uh, University of South Florida. Um, they have created all of these animations and can be uh, found on their website. Um, as you can see, this is uh, basically four different models that show what's happening in the uh, Gulf up through uh, a forecast of um, around May 12th, which obviously is in the future from today. Uh, you can see that the Mississippi River, when it <clears throat> has a huge outflow, is causing some uh, unintended consequences over here in the Chandelier Islands. Uh, it's tending to push the, the water, uh, the slick, further in that area. Um, we still have our loop current concerns here and here. Uh, at the moment, it seems to be working to keep it uh, pushed above getting caught up in loop current, but also you see what's happening here. We have this area starting to move around and or this area moving out this way, which once again could get over into the uh, Panama City, Destin, uh, Cape Sandblast area, or even along the west coast of Florida. Uh, let's look at a couple of others. Here's one that shows wind patterns and how that might impact uh, the surface as well. So let's go with this animation here. And once again, you can see how Mississippi came out. But notice how the winds are starting to come from the east and then the southeast. And they're going to tend to want to push this mass up in this direction. Uh, the outflow from the Mississippi is also working with, with that as well, helping kind of push it towards the Alabama and Florida coastlines. Uh, Dolphin Island, which is right here, has seen some tar balls, so we're uh, obviously concerned about that. Um, and with the uh, patterns as we move towards summer tending to be more from the south, that's uh, certainly not going to be very good for uh, the whole coastline there. And as this continues to spread outward to the east and to the west, it's just kind of uh, make it flatten out, we believe, as well. Okay, uh, next one here is a similar one from one of the, the four panes we saw earlier, and it just shows you the general morphing of the, uh, of the mass. Um, but if we're already starting to get some tar balls on the island here, we can expect that to hit the Gulf Shores, Orange Beach soon, and uh, looking at this distance we're dealing with, and the same thing with the uh, currents um, as they come into play will start working their way all along this area here and I, I believe that as time goes on uh, it's going to obviously work its way this way and get caught up in the loop current also. I'm not a scientist so uh, this is all just uh, empirical knowledge about what I do know about the Gulf. Um, as you can see this is starting to move much more dramatically in this area. Last time we did an update it was a miss about here now it's way over here so we can expect this to uh, impact all of Louisiana and probably get into Florida and at some point become an international event by getting into Mexico um, and or getting into loop current and getting into Gulf Stream and moving up uh, and hitting even uh, Canada or even uh, Europe. <laughs> so this uh, thing just really doesn't have any end in sight. Um, another variation showing the currents and just a different forecasting uh, computer model that shows what uh, may or may not uh, happen, but they all are pretty much agreeing that it continues to move out this way, is drifting in this direction, and off to the west also. So, let's see, one more, and this one, once again showing you all the currents that are out in the sea, and as you can see what's happening here, you got this current here just kind of folding it back on itself. Uh, but potentially if it folds it back enough over here, you know, who knows, it could get caught up in this and move right over here and, and get caught up in that loop current from, from over this direction instead of here. Or this could loop around and get caught up in it. Um, it's really you know, just a guessing game and we're all uh, very upset and sad about the whole prospect. Um, I wish I had more definitive information for you, but that's best I can do for right now. Thank you, and uh, we'll update uh, when there's uh, a few more days have passed and we have new uh, models to look at. Thank you very much.